bidding on cards at low points could prove to be one of the next best things that you could be doing on the market. If I try and outbid this guy on 15,750, because that's just way too low. This Gravenberg right now, as I'm recording this video, is probably going for around 17,000 coins. We can take a look at this tab here. Maybe you can see you can probably snipe at 16,750, but bidding allows you to get it at a much cheaper price. As you can see here, I got this Gravenberg one at 15,000 coins. Now, this is probably 1K profit right now if I decide to sell, but the beauty of it is is this is already at a significant low point in the market this is already a dip for him so when he recovers which we will get into but i'm feeling is around 1 p.m 2 p.m 3 p.m uk time around the time in, when eu and also uk gets back from school and they start buying some cards just before 6 p.m that could be a good time to sell. And I think that is actually a market trend that we will take a look at. But if we try and do a little bit of live bidding as well, this Dan Yuma, I picked this one up at 36K. I think this one is quite a good deal here. If we try and see, we'll, we'll bid on this again, 36, 250. There's also a couple of different cards that I want to go for, but we'll see. We'll take a look at what happens with these ones on 30 seconds left. I've also got a couple added to my watch list here as well. So I've got this Sancho. I think Sancho could be a great one. 95k but it's quite high but we'll take a look at that in just a moment but this Danuma, okay i'm getting a little bit of outbidding it is definitely a slower process than sniping that is why most people go for sniping but i think it's a lot more rewarding if you actually go for these and it can honestly get you a lot better a lot better profit margins than when you're just normally sniping and that is why i want to talk to you about it and also about this general market trend that i think i might have potentially cracked or there is a potential pattern that we can start to pick up on even though the market is extremely low it is still potentially a way that we could be making coins but it is always risky of course anything could happen but potentially if that's a way we can make back coins then it is better than just sitting around trying to do nothing this one went at 35k oh no i missed this 35 was very good we let that guy have a very nice deal but you can see here it's definitely quite hard to keep up with so even if there is a little bit of competition on these cards you're getting outbid on some you're not going to get outbid on all this guy just picked it up for 35,000 quints. That's literally already 1,000 quints profit. But the best thing about this is, if you take a look, this guy is probably going to go up to around 42K in my opinion, or up to 40K potentially. So that, that becomes a nice little profit there. And it is low budget trading method. So there isn't really much risk attached to it because Gravenberg can't really go below 15K. Danuma shouldn't really go below 36,500 as long as you're selling within the next six to 12 hours. So some other cards I also wanted to take a look at are this guy. He went down a little bit. I can't pronounce his name um, completely, but I think to Shamani, I don't think that's too bad. I don't think that's too good either, to be honest, but he's been sitting at around 25K. He's had some very, very nice rises. You can see here 21K. I'm sure that we're going to be able to get bids at a better price so i think probably a lot of them are at around 22k if we go ahead and try look at bids i'm sure that we're going to find a lot because this card th there hasn't really been too much supply but there's still potential i think to bid so maybe not this card isn't as good there's not too many but i'm still going to bid on him and then when it comes down to the 17 minutes just make sure that you're active and then you can take a look at what is going to be happening so i'm going to bid on all of these quite a few at 17 there maybe those are from like 6 p.m or a bit after 6 p.m there's also triore road to the knockout a lot of road to the knockouts are a little bit low as we can see here so even this marquinos is quite low even you could be bidding on a card like that so i could potentially be bidding on those you guys can try and bid on those i think maybe Team of the week four, perhaps, but I still don't have the best of feelings from here. But if you could bid on Lozano, for example, at 18K, again, it's sort of like he should only go up from this point. But I know we've said that a lot of times with this market, but I think this could be a way, again, as long as you're keeping... Uh, as long as you're not holding longer than six to 12 hours, you should sort of be okay. So this is sort of the new the new market sort of trends that I have, that I have found, the pattern. Cards seem to be dropping off at 6 p.m. UK time. We know that. It keeps on going lower and lower because more people are sort of, it's, it's a mix of panic selling and also people are scared to buy. So we see that go on all overnight pretty much. All of these cards that get listed up on the market, none of them pretty much get bought. There's constant more and more undercutting. Perhaps this is 9 a.m. Perhaps some people at 9 a.m. before they go to school, before they go to work, they're listing up some cards just before they go. And we 
see quite a low point at 10 a.m. UK time. And then once people get back from school at around 2 p.m., because 2 p.m. UK time, that is around 3 p.m. EU. So maybe some people in Europe, when they get back from school, they are buying some cards up. And also 3 p.m. UK time, when UK children or people from work, whatever, get back from get back <laughs> get back from school or work, they are going on Ultimate Team and they're buying some cards. Now we do see a drop at 6 p.m. again, and that is sort of how the cycle does continue. So if we take a look at a real example that this did sort of happen with, I think Marcus Rashford, Usman Dembele, is a good example. And if we go on the market tracker, it should show us a little bit more of a representation. You can see here, it's happened for the last two days, I'm um, essentially. It may just be uh, it may just be a coincidence. It may not always happen every single day, but you can see here, 4 p.m., 5 p.m. is sort of a high point, And that is why when the market drops, it maybe just seems like a high point, but the, the market should return up to here, I do think. If we take a look here, what happened? The market kept on going down, kept on going down. Here you see 10 a.m. was sort of a low point. 11 a.m. today was a low point. And then it shot right back up at 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Now you do need to ask yourself, is this even profitable? If you're buying at 58, this is Mandembele and you're selling at sort of 62, there was a high point you could sell at 64. And perhaps if you snipe a, a, a few thousand quins lower than what he was here at this hour, there is potential quins to be made, but it is a little bit risky, but I think this is just something to pick up on. You can see here again, this price is quite low. Now I'm recording this video at 7 p.m. UK time. But I think this could potentially be either the same price or in fact a little bit lower as we are going into the night. And like I said, 9 a.m., 10 a.m. UK time because overnight nobody is really buying. It may be changing now because we're sort of going into Thursday division rivals playoffs and now finals for champions finals is coming. But I do think that that has sort of been the pattern that we have been seeing the last day or two during this big market crash. That has sort of been the impact. But there has been shown, there has shown that there is actual market rising when we do see these times as sort of like 3 p.m. UK time, but that is before it does drop off again. We saw this, Usman Dembele, only a few hours ago, he was selling at 64K, and that is a fact. I did have him, I was selling as well. So 64K, and now he's dropped down. You could potentially snipe at 57K. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. Again, with this bidding, if I'm buying these cards around now, or maybe if I want to buy at 9 a.m., 10 a.m. UK time, then I could potentially sell at around 3 a.m., uh, 3 p.m., sorry, 3 p.m., uh, 2 p.m., just before 6 p.m. UK time, before the market goes down. That is potentially something you want to try out. I tried it last night. It, it worked, but you sort of, it, you, you need to make sure those margins, you need to, you need to account for the tax. The tax is a little bit annoying. So you need to snipe a few thousand quins below what they're going for. For example, this Usman Dembele, you need to get for like 56, 55, and then you can comf comfortably sell at 64 and make yourself a few thousand quins profit. But is it worth the risk? Is it better to keep your quins? I think this is, this is not a bad shot. I'm going to try and sell these cards. I think tomorrow on Thursday at around 3 p.m. UK time. I think that's what I'm going to be aiming for. And I'm going to try and get a few more bids. If you see at what these ones were, there were one at. Some people are picking up on this a bit, but even those at 16,500, I still think for Gravenberg, those bids are quite good, but I'm sure is that all i guess those those went quite quickly but again you can just go back and add some more plays to your to your watch list to your and bid on them and have them on here on your active transfer list here on your transfer watch so i would recommend this this is i think a safe way potentially you still need to be careful don't keep cards for longer than six to twelve hours the future of the market i think team of the week four is gonna do okay these these knockout, these road to the knockout cards, I think there will be a little bit of a recovery. They seem quite low. This Marquinhos is quite low. Robertson is quite low, even though Robertson won, Liverpool won, but he still went down. This is just normal behavior that we see with ones to watch cards, a little bit of over investing and perhaps people didn't realize you have to actually wait quite a while until he is going to be getting that upgrade but i think these cards will have a little bit of a rebound again tomorrow at that sort of 2 p.m 3 p.m uk time and going into the weekend i think the market should recover a little bit some people are also off fit champions so we do have to keep that in mind as well is there going to be maybe a little bit less demand but perhaps also a little bit less less supply so hopefully fingers crossed this is sort of going to be when we take a, a step back this is going to be in the week in the in, in the 
in, in the view of the whole week, I hope this is going to be the lowest point in the market for these Road to the Knockout cards. That is sort of what I am hoping for and maybe also some of the gold cards as well. But let me know down in the comments below, what are you guys doing? And also, hopefully you're not losing too many coins let me know what you what you guys are currently like out with the coin balance as well thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time